Hey everyone, this is Shema, an Asha certified audiologist and tinnitus specialist, sharing information on tinnitus and tinnitus management strategies. Tinnitus presents itself in many different forms, and one of the most common types is tonal tinnitus. In this video, I will guide you through the full range of frequencies that the human ear can detect. It will start from 100 Hz all the way up to 1600 Hz. Many people say that there is no cure for tinnitus and we just need to learn living with it. This is not true. Contrary to what some people believe, there are actually many ways to manage tinnitus and I will be discussing some of those strategies later in this video. Up next, you will hear a frequency sweep beginning at 100 Hz and gradually increasing to 1600 Hz. To get the most accurate experience, I recommend using high quality headphones or speakers. Sound quality will make a difference, but if you don't have them, that's okay. So when we play the different frequencies, the lower frequencies or very high frequencies in particular can be difficult to detect. So if you don't hear them right away, don't rush to turn up the volume, just wait and they should become clearer soon. If you are interested in learning more insights and management strategies on tinnitus, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Also, if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube can recommend this video to other people who can benefit from. Tinnitus is essentially any sound you hear internally that isn't caused by an external source. It varies from person to person. I also experienced high-pitched tonal tinnitus in my both ears, which was bothersome in quiet and when I'm stressed. We actually do kind of similar testing in our audiology clinics. We match the pitch of the patient's tinnitus. Uh, we play different frequency tones and we want them to match their tinnitus frequency. We also match the volume of their tinnitus. In this video, we're not going to focus on volume because we're not going to match that. So just focus on the pitch of your tinnitus. Before we begin, I want to add a quick disclaimer depending on your hearing ability. Some tones might sound louder or softer to you. Keep your volume controls handy. I wouldn't want you to accidentally set the sound too high, especially as we move through different frequencies. We have listened some frequencies. I hope you were able to match the pitch of your tinnitus. If you were not able to, comment below. As I mentioned, if you were able to match the pitch of your tinnitus, again, comment below. 
and I will try to recommend some management strategies. As I mentioned at the beginning of my video, there are so many people who say there is nothing to do with Tinnitus and you just need to learn living with it. It is not true. There are so many management strategies to be able to cope with Tinnitus. It's really important that how much uh, your tinnitus bothers some to you. If it is bothering you too much, affecting the quality of your life, you cannot sleep with it, then definitely see a professional. And one of the most common cause of tinnitus is hearing loss. So they will probably require a hearing test and you will be able to see if it is going to be related to that. So if you manage your hearing loss, then you would be able to manage your tinnitus most likely. Or if there is any other causes, they would be able to figure that out. If your tinnitus is not bothering you too much and you feel like you want to try some management strategies, start with sound therapy and uh, mindfulness exercises. They are very effective when it comes to managing your tinnitus. Try them, definitely try to find a sound that is relaxing and pleasing to you. Some people try sound therapy, they go with like pink noise, white noise, whichever is most popular, even though if they don't like the sound. The sound is very personalized so if you don't like a sound it wouldn't be effective for you so find a sound that is relaxing and pleasing for you to be able to have this habituation thank you so much for watching i hope you find this video helpful if you have any questions or concerns about this topic comment below and i will try to get back to you see you in the next video